Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Veritas Backup Exec, I will show you how you can utilize the capacity addition licensing model. So if you remember last time when I made the video on Backup Exec V-Ray addition licensing, I told you that that's not the only way you can license. There are a couple of other options. So today I want to explore uh, two other options in capacity, which is capacity addition full or capacity addition or capacity addition light and I'll try to explain you with example what are the main differences and under what scenarios you can utilize because I know that sometime uh, as I mentioned last time the licensing can get a uh, little bit confusing so without wasting any time let me explain you by uh, picturing a, a scenario so let me just move to my whiteboard And say we have a company which have uh, multiple sites. Uh, so it's a very big enterprise class uh, uh, company. It has multiple locations. So they have a location, three locations they have. So they have one office in Toronto, one in Vancouver and uh, others in uh, uh, say New York Toronto is their main head office so what they want to do is basically they want to control everything from uh, uh, Toronto uh, location and uh, they have uh, say multiple servers so in this Toronto location they have a physical they have virtualized uh, servers so Say this is a physical, so this is a uh, server which is virtualized. It has multiple VMs. This is a physical server. It is a mix of uh, Windows and uh, Linux. It, uh, same way in Vancouver, you have uh, multiple servers too. Uh, it has running many application database such as uh, Exchange, SQL, uh, file server etc in New York same way uh, you also have uh, uh, a tape library too here and it has uh, uh, multiple drives so say for example it has a uh, five tape library uh, five five drives in that right so you can imagine this is a this is uh, three sites and uh, uh, they want to control everything from uh, their head office and it has a mix of physical, virtualized, uh, they're running application databases, it's a tape library, they want to disk-based backup too. So as I mentioned, one of the options is the capacity addition licensing model and in capacity there are two. One is capacity addition full or capacity addition what they call it from backup exec and the other one is backup exec capacity light. So the reason you will uh, use in this case backup exec capacity and when I explain the light, uh, light option for you it will become much more easier to uh, understand is uh, capacity addition full will give you a central admin server option and what does that allow you to do is you can deploy a central admin server in this location and uh, through this you can control the complete infrastructure so you can control uh, uh, the Toronto site, Vancouver, New York, everything from one. You can share the storage. You can also uh, do the uh, synthetic backup as well as uh, uh, if you want to do optimized deduplication, so only change blocks will be transferred. So you save on the uh, bandwidth and uh, the duration of your backup, the backup windows. Plus it also includes the unlimited licensing for tape library. Uh, if you have to buy a traditional way, then you have to buy uh, library expansion option within backup exec. But uh, with this, it will cover everything. So the only thing you have to uh, remember in this case, how much front end terabyte you have because capacity addition model is based on front end terabyte. So say if you have uh, in uh, uh, Toronto location, two terabyte. 
in Vancouver you have uh, one in New York you also have uh, one terabyte so in total you have uh, four terabytes so what you can do is you can go with four backup exec capacity addition licensing and this will cover everything so you don't need to worry about how many hypervisors you have whether it's windows linux does it uh, uh, having any specific application database it will include all the agents all the option it will include the library expansion option it will have the dedupe licensing for you so that you save on the storage as well as on the bandwidth it will also have the central admin server or enterprise server licensing uh, which will allow you to control uh, multiple uh, manage backup exec server because what you're going to do is you'll also deploy a manage backup exec server here you'll deploy a manage backup exec server here too you will also deploy one manage backup exec server and everything will be controlled from central admin server so from one pane you can control everything and all the backups and everything so that's why capacity addition full uh, option is, uh, is so popular because as i mentioned that you don't need to worry about it as all the agents all the option so it is a top tier level of uh, licensing that you don't need to worry about and it includes everything that you need to need to have and especially in this kind of environment uh, because you need uh, uh, library expansion central admin server now all these options are there in that. So that is what the capacity addition full is. Now let's see a scenario uh, in which uh, you still want to use a capacity model. So let's say a scenario in which you have uh, only uh, one site. So uh, this is a site, say. It's, uh, it's in Toronto. and it has a uh, couple of servers now this is a uh, say a uh, file server it's a physical box uh, this one is uh, Hyper-V which is virtualized so it has multiple uh, VMs on this it's holding uh, SQL Active Directory uh, SharePoint this is another server which is Linux right and uh, you want to license this with backup exec capacity edition uh, and uh, see what are the options so as I mentioned in capacity there are two options one is capacity uh, full and the other one is backup exec capacity light Again, very similar to the first option, you will license this based on how much front-end terabyte you have. That's a good thing. You don't need to worry about you know what, what is there. So in this case, say for example, if you have two terabyte of data, so you'll need two times backup exec capacity light licensing model and this will cover everything so the difference between a capacity full or a capacity addition or light is the capacity light doesn't have the enterprise server option which is the central admin server option if you want to manage multiple site but as you can see that in this case we don't need other difference is the dedupe licensing so if you want the deduplication it is not part of the capacity light and unfortunately if you want to have the dedupe if you have the capacity light and you say if you want to get a dedupe licensing separately you won't be able to you need to move to the capacity edition fall so that's another difference and the third difference is uh, the uh, library expansion option licensing so say imagine if we had a tape library in this case which we don't uh, write uh, in that case we would not be able to license this with the capacity light we either have to go with uh, our capacity full or maybe it's, uh, other other option but we cannot use the capacity but in this case we don't so these are the three 
major differences between capacity full or full capacity from backup exec or capacity light other than that uh, all the options are the same it will still come with the backup exec core licensing the management backup exec server edition you will also get all the agents uh, for both uh, application database SQL exchange it got the agent for a hypervisor whether VMware Hyper-V uh, agent for Linux uh, so all those things are covered so just to refresh backup exec capacity is another way of licensing within backup exec licensing model and it has two categories one is backup exec capacity full or backup exec capacity light I explain you what are the differences and all the and both these options are based on the amount of front end terabyte you have uh, uh, so you, you just need to get that information from your customers and uh, you'll be all good to go so this was uh, uh, a brief video on how to use uh, capacity model in licensing within veritas backup exec i hope you found it useful thanks for watching have a good day